guys? It is me, Aiden, and... Dad. And... Lucy! And... Penny. And... Yo. <laughs> Today, we're going to go through the tutorial for the vintage lace jumper that Penny is wearing right now. As you can see, there's a underskirt and a top skirt. See that liner? And ruffle action. Can't go wrong with ruffles. Yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty good because our mommy there, she's a professional. She's very good. She's very good. professional. You and me. No. And um, if you want to order this, just um, look on my mom's account and then you'll get this. And what's the account? Uh, right say pattern company. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Now oh, let's get started. Oh, you missed. Give me some of that. Too. Oh, man. There's some right here. wrong right high here. fives. Right here, guys. Okay. All right. Rain City Pattern Company. Rain City Pattern Company. Welcome to the Vintage Lace Jumper Tutorial. Required pieces. One, front waistband outer. One, front waistband liner. One, back waistband outer. One, back waistband liner. Two straps. One top skirt front. One top skirt back. One underskirt front. One underskirt back. Four ruffles. Transfer the pleat lines and the strap marks from the pattern piece to the fabric piece. To make the pleats on the front waistband, fold at the top pleat line, wrong sides together, and press. Sew a quarter inch from this edge. Press the top pleat up towards the top of the waistband. Make the second pleat using the previous steps. Press the pleats down towards the bottom of the waistband. Should look like this from the side. Next, we'll work on the straps. Now mark the straps using your preferred method to identify the front and the back. Fold right sides together. And so down this line right here. Turn the straps right side out and press. Top stitch with a straight stitch a quarter inch away from each edge all the way down on both sides as shown here. Transfer the elastic casing lines and the strap lines from the back waistband pattern piece to the back waistband fabric piece. The first casing line is located 5 eighths inches away from the top. Each casing line after that is located 1 inch away from the previous line. Now lay the front liner right side up and the straps right side up. As you can see here, this is the top. Now I'll slide this up. Now go ahead and match this line this angle with the top of the liner right at your strap marks. Pin it in place or clip it, whatever these things are called. Do the same on this side. Make sure that the straps are angled away from each other and not crossing. If I were to put them on backwards, they'd go like this and you can see the edge or the top of the strap. They would have uh, crossed. You don't want that. That's for the back, not for the front. So let's go ahead and get this line back up. Just like that. Clip it in place. Ta-da! It's kind of angry looking. All right, now lay the uh, outer front waistband on top of the liner. Uh, right here we use two pins to mark the strap marks. So we're going to fold this over just like that. We're going to match up these pins without uh, jamming them under my thumbnail. Just like that. And we're going to reclip it. 
if I can get my big dumb thumbs on each one of these just like that there we go and you're gonna sew it along this line right here well this edge right here that's not lined up very well there we go all right now you're gonna sew it along this edge Whoop. now that we've sewn the liner and the straps together we're gonna flip the liner out we're gonna press it and we're gonna sew an eighth inch away from your previous sew line so an eighth inch down Sew it together right along here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and cross the straps and lay them on the back liner right side up. Let's keep going here, here, making sure that these straps line up with the marks on the back liner that you put, these little blue dots. It's gonna be just like this little number here. There you go, and there you go. Just like that, crossed, lined up with the marks, and this is gonna go right side, down, 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 down. Flip it over like that. Probably wanna line this up better than I just did. And then you're gonna sew it along this edge right here. Now we're gonna open up the front and the back waistbands, just like this. Oh, uh, there we go. We're gonna fold this over and line up the edges on one side. Once you get these edges lined up, you're gonna sew along this line right here. Once that's done, you're gonna roll over to the other side. Repeat the same process. You're gonna sew along this line right here. Forgot to mention on the last step, uh, when we sewed the two sides together, we made sure that these were right sides together, and then we sewed it. So, now we're gonna fold this uh, liner inside, and then we're gonna turn it uh, inside out so you can see the casing lines. Now you're going to go ahead and sew along these lines right here, the uh, casing lines that you guys had marked up the last time. Boop, boop, boop. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, get this elastic threaded through. Depending on which size that you are using, you're going to have two or three of these pieces. So uh, first thing, take a safety pin, put it through the end, close that sucker up, and then you're going to come around here, and you're going to take your elastic, and your safety pin go between the liner and the uh, outside of the waistband here up to the top uh, encasement. You're going to start threading that through. Maybe. That's the plan. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So much easier every other time. There we go. So you want to make sure that the elastic stays straight and flat while you're threading it in here. You just kind of scoot it down, making sure that stays flat. Mm-hmm. 
You're going to keep going until you get to the end here, about a quarter inch with the elastic. Here we go. Where are we at? Not even close. Not even close. Mm-hmm. This is my favorite part of the day. Or night. Like 11.30 on a Saturday night while your kids are asleep on the couch. Uh, nope. Not it. Keep threading. You thought you were there. You're not. Keep going. That's a quarter inch. And then right about there. I think that's right. Oh, nope. I need to back it up a little bit. All right, there we go. That's the first one. Now we're going to go ahead and sew it right along here and, I don't know, attach it, I guess. All right, now that the uh, elastic has been attached on this other end, you're going to continue threading it through using that safety pin to the other side. So uh, more of the same, just uh, one quarter inch at a time here, making sure that the elastic stays flat and straight. And uh, yep, just do this. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yep, keep going. Okay. Oh, we're getting to the end here. Uh. So when you're pulling this through, you want to make sure that you get the safety pin out and about a quarter inch worth of uh, elastic left so that you can attach that. But uh, make sure you remove the safety pin, otherwise it's going to be in there forever. You're going to have to cut a hole in this and, uh, I don't know, you can start over I suppose. Ah, Ta-da! And then you're going to go ahead and Sew it right here and attach that elastic and then continue on for the uh, rest of your casings. All right, now the elastic has been uh, sewn in and encased and this is what it now looks like. Ta-da! So we're gonna move on to the uh, top skirt and the underskirt. So here is the underskirt. Lay that out, and the top skirt, lay that out. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the top skirt, lay these two pieces together, Oop. right sides together, Line them up. We're going to sew down this edge right here. We're going to do the same for the underskirt. Line them up. Sew down this edge right here. And then the ruffles. I have to slide all this down so you can see it. Ruffles are going to be the same. I'll line those up, lay them on top of each other. Oop. And sew them down just the one side for now. We're not creating a loop yet. That'll be later. Maybe next, but not now. So right here, right here, right there. All right, now that the underskirt has been sewn and the ruffles have been sewn, you're gonna need to gather them and make them all the same length. So as you can see, this one, 
ruffles are much longer than the underskirt, so you have to gather those up and then we'll uh, get that sewn up. All right, now that you've gathered the ruffles, you're gonna move this onto the, uh, the uh, bottom skirt here. You're gonna line it up just like this. The uh, right sides together all the way down. You're gonna sew right along this line right here. Sew them together and then move on. All right, now that you have the ruffle attached to the under skirt, you're going to sew the short ends together to create a loop. You're gonna press this seam up and uh, top stitch it. Um, after that, you're gonna roll into hemming. Uh, you got a couple of different hemming options. One, serge the bottom edge of the ruffle and press up one inch and sew. Or two, press the bottom edge of the ruffle up a quarter inch and then three quarters and sew. Uh, three, press the bottom edge of the ruffle up a half inch and then a half inch and sew. Or four, use a rolled hem, but remember to cut off one inch as you sew. Uh, you probably need to check out your serger's uh, uh, instru or, uh, user manual um, on how to do the rolled hem. We are currently working on the top skirt now. The hem choice that we have uh, gone with is to serge the edge here and fold it up one inch. So what we're going to do here is we're going to unfold the uh, the memory fold that we have, just like that. And we're going to fold these. Uh, we're going to fold this together, right sides together, and sew it into a loop. So let's get this. Uh, just like that, and we're gonna sew it right along that line. This is going to uh, help us get that uh, hem back with this memory line because it's a pain to do it in a loop. So there we go. Whoop. So now that this has been sewn into a loop, we're gonna go ahead and fold this hem back to the uh, wrong side, and we're gonna sew it. See that little memory line here that we had? Makes it much easier to do than uh, had we not done this in the previous step. Just like that. All right, now we are going to, uh, now that you have this sewn into a loop and hemmed, we're going to insert the underskirt into the top skirt. We're going to line up this edge with this edge. Some along these lines here. And then, once we get these lined up, there we go, we're getting closer. We are going to gather this. Let's slide this down a little bit. Now we're going to take all of this and we're going to gather it to the width of the waistband. Just like that. Huh? Huh. Okay, now that you have gathered the, uh, the uh, underskirt and the top skirt, we're going to insert it into the uh, waistband here making sure that the f back of the waistband and the back of the skirt are lined up and that the seams here are lined up together. So let's go like this. What you wanna try to do is, once you get it in here and lined up, seams to seams, front to front, back to back, and the right sides together, you want to walk around the edges here and make sure that your gathers on both the uh, the top and the bottom here are about the same. I'm trying to find the seam here. Mm. 
Now we're talking. It's just like that. Like get these lined up. It'll look something like that. You can go ahead and walk this around too. Make sure that the gathers aren't all bunched up on one side or the other. So now that we have it all lined up and uh, clipped in place, uh, it's ready to sew. But uh, as a pro tip, you might want to baste it first. That way if uh, it's not to your liking, you only have one thread to remove rather than four from that old Bessie serger over there. Uh, all right. All right, here it is sewn. So we are going to flip it right side out. Just like this. We're gonna take this, uh, seam right here inside here we're going to press it up and we're going to top stitch it right there so press it up and top stitch well that concludes the tutorial for the vintage lace jumper uh it's uh 1252 a.m i would take this downstairs and have my daughter try it on but she's probably asleep on the couch um so, uh, thanks for muddling through the uh, terrible direction that I've given over the last hour and a half. Um, hopefully, uh, it pans out for everybody involved. All right, thanks. Have a good night.